Hello! Well, we have what may be a world exclusive on the old Ashens channel today. Star Wars scented candles! Which are not for sale until the end of November, I believe. And there's only going to be 5,000 sets made, ever. So, have novelty items gone too far? Of course they have. We are literally being confronted by Star Wars officially licensed scented candles. And yes, before we go on, I need to point out that yes, the word Bantha has been spelt incorrectly on there. It has been picked up and uh, is completely changed for the full release. Going down the pipe. And speaking of going down the pipe, we've got a candle that smells like a trash compactor. Yeah, so, um... That's the, that's the thing, isn't it? It's a thing that physically exists and is in front of me right now. Look, it's not, not CGI. Yeah, um... Wow. So, the only thing they apparently hadn't got from a galaxy far, far away was smells. So, they've decided to recreate them. Maybe you can light them and sniff them as during certain scenes in the film. I really don't know. Um, this, I mean, I mean, let's not beat around the bush here. This is the noveltyest of novelty items, isn't it? This is like, what can we give Kooky Jeff for Christmas? I know, look what I've just seen. Crikey O'Reilly. I, I can't think of anybody I would give these as a gift to. No, actually, actually, I think my friend Phil would appreciate the joke and he could, like, uh, have a laugh about this family and stuff, maybe. And do you know, I'm uploading this on his birthday. Whoa. But don't worry, Phil, if you're watching, I haven't bought you these candles. They're not out until the end of November, for starters. But, uh, yeah, you might want to move house before Christmas. Anyway, um... <clears throat> Blimey. So this is a set of five <laughs> brightly coloured... <laughs> scented candles from Star Wars A New Hope. A new stench, maybe. We have Bantha Milk. Is that the blue milk they drink at the start of Star Wars? I don't know. Maybe that is Bantha Milk. Maybe it's that stuff that uh, Old Man Luke gets out of the uh, weird sea cow thing in The Last Jedi. I don't know. That's what a Wookiee smells like, apparently. <clears throat> That's what a trash compactor smells like. What an amazing smell you've discovered. There's a line like that in the film, isn't there? Yeah, looking forward to that one. The smell from here is bizarre. There's an X-Wing cockpit smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And the canteen. I dread to think what the canteen smells like. Well, we got the old blowtorch ready to light them. Let's see what happens then. I'm going to have a bit of a sniff of the cantina first. Oh, God. It smells of... Just a sort of low-level, very subtle incense, actually. Hmm, fair enough. Well, there's monsters running around. I thought I might smell of something a bit crazy. But uh, let's... Well, I suppose they can't all smell... Like I assume that one's going to smell. And that is lit. Melt the old wax a bit. And, uh... Hmm. Let's ha get the old nostrils in. Does it smell any different while it's burning? Hmm. More subtle. Yeah. Yep, yeah, oh, here we go. Yep, yeah, that is that has given us a definite scent. Of, uh, yeah, well, well, fairly subtle incense, really, is about the only way I can describe that. It is not an unpleasant smell, which is odd, because I assumed the cantina would fucking stink in the movie, because it's just got loads of um, weird hairy monsters running around everywhere. And it didn't look like the uh, most tightly run ship in the sense of uh, hygiene, did it? The old bartender there didn't look like he did anything except run a dirty rag around stuff. His name was Wooha which is a completely pointless bit of Star Wars trivia, I know. I know a lot of that. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah. There we are. Careful not to burn my nose. That is that. That is certainly a smell which exists in my life. I think for the rest of them, rather than actually lighting them, I'm going to get the wax, stick it under my nose, and have a good sniff. It seems to offer a more concentrated effect of it. Although I imagine if you leave them on for quite a while, it will fill a room full of them. There's a something to look forward to. So, X-Wing cockpit. What the hell is that going to smell like? I mean, seriously. What a concept. The same colour as Luke's jumpsuit. Oh, God. It smells of sweaty jumpsuit. Mm, nice. Right. Oh. Oh! That's quite clever, actually. <laughs> it's, it's like new car smell. Seriously. <laughs> it's like new car smell with like a slight hint of musk or something. It's probably from the fear of the pilots. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah, OK. I like that. That is, that is a cleverness. Trash compactor. 
Can we come back to that one? No, we're going right to left for some reason, for our Japanese readers. Go on then. Ah, oh, fucking Christ. Ah, oh, just stinks of garbage. Just stinks of that. And it's that same horrible rubbish smell you like get on, um, oh, the, the, the toys that, you know, are supposed to be stinky garbage smelling toys. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, it's really. Un oh, God, imagine lighting a candle of that and then letting it slowly fill the room. Who would do such a grotesque thing? Not me, because I can't turn the bloody blowtorch on. Ooh. Thought we had a blowtorch failure there. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave that for a little while and see what joy that brings us. Wookie. I've always wondered, what does Chewbacca smell like? Now, finally, I can have an answer <laughs> in candle form. <laughs> uh, this week on the Conceptually Ridiculous. Oh, God. Slightly spicy. Smells a bit like... musk. With some sort of hair product on top. Maybe a hint of tobacco? I don't... Oh, tobacco, the Chewbacca. The... Oh, are they being clever with that? Or is my mind manufacturing it? Hmm, that's that's not unpleasant, actually. It's not an unpleasant smell. Yep, well done, Chewy. You keep your hair in good condition with uh, plenty of use of, I don't know, two-in-one wash-and-go shampoo or something. And finally, the Bantha. Remember, they will fix the spelling. Milk. Oh, God. Yeah, it just smells of milk. Very milky smell. You know the way milk smells? That's the way this candle smells. If I had to describe the smell of this candle, it would be milk. You know that uh, white stuff that comes out of cows? No, the other one, milk. Yeah, that's it. This candle smells a lot like... <laughs> yeah, joking aside, yeah, it genuinely does. Smell of milk. <laughs> My God. <laughs> what a world we live in. What a world we live in. Go on, then. How is the trash compactor stinking up? Oh, God. Oh, again, it's subtler than when you stick the, you know, the thing right under your nose. But again, if it would fill a room. It really would fill a room. What a concept. <sighs> well, that's the end of that, then. It's not like we've got, you know, three sets of five for each of the original trilogy or anything. <laughs> so, the Empire Strikes Back set, then. <laughs> Ah, uh, what a time to be alive. Right, um, yeah, so we've got five now. Distinctive stenches from The Empire Strikes Back. Everybody's favourite Star Wars film, except for people who like a different Star Wars film. You can't argue with that. So, lightsaber duel. Oh, look, look. See the blue hitting the... Uh, yeah, a bit of a uh, dual coloration there. See packaging for usage instructions. There's a fucking candle. Set it on fire and don't eat it. That's, that's my uh, instructions for you. Um... Oh, God. Oh, it's a really oddly metallic smell. <clears throat> I can't really, um... It's almost like sort of ozone or sort of um, hint of... With this sort of cleaning product in it. Ah, a very clean, sterile smell of something... Yeah, of some sort of metallic-y energy burning. That's what they're going for, isn't it? That's quite... Yeah, that that is not entirely unsuccessful, actually. That's, uh... Yeah, there's a bit of cleverness to that. Yeah, I approve the lightsaber duel. Hand Solo Carbonite. What does Carbonite smell like? Was Hand Solo, um, Hand Solo? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, was Hand Solo smelling this constantly because it was up his nostrils? I don't know. Ooh. Mmm, just sort of a oily, metally. Yeah. Again, with that sort of basic low level perfumey sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, not, not particularly impressive one, that. Um,. It's a sort of it's slightly metallic and more oil and, yeah, more that just sort of generic perfume they put in things like this as a base, I think. Um, Yoda's cooking pot. Well, Luke didn't think it was particularly um, pleasant to eat from, but... Oh, God, I see why. Bloody hell. God, that's the, the beefiest smell ever. That's like just like an Oxo cube or something. <laughs> yeah, that's a really... That is... Yeah, that, that is like beef oxo cube. Well, there we are. Why didn't Luke like it? Well, who knows? Maybe he doesn't like beef stew. Maybe it smells really beefy, but tastes like vomit. Who knows? I think Yoda's cooking is one of the big mysteries of the Star Wars films. Next, Millennium Falcon! <laughs> 
<laughs> Somebody sat down in a meeting and it's like, so I have to work out what the Millennium Falcon smells like. <laughs> then it has to be signed off by Disney. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Oh, it's really. I was, I was thinking. I was expecting sort of new car smell thing again, but no. God, it's like an old bloody. Um, do you know what this is like? This is like somebody it's, has worn a load of cheap aftershave, and you've found their old jacket. <laughs> it's, it's the old jacket of somebody who wears a lot of cheap aftershave, and that's. Oh my God, that's Han Solo, isn't it? <laughs> that's like the perfect description of Han Solo. <laughs> a load of cheap aftershave on an old jacket. My God! Until Princess Leia clears him to clean his act up. Yeah. Okay. That. Yeah. Okay. That's that's pretty clever. If if that is indeed the thing. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on board with that. Inside of a Taunton. Oh, piss off, man! And I thought these things smelled bad on the outside, as Han Solo says. Um. It's, it's a pleasing colour. <laughs> Uh, stickers on the wonk. Um, let's have a sniff. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, it's like a sort of rotting meat. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like a, a cross between Yoda's cooking pot and the trash compactor, but dialed down a bit. Oh, that's quite unpleasant. Oh, again, that, that is certainly one you would not want to fill the room with. Right then, shall we jump ahead to the Return of the Jedi? <laughs> Ah, the Jedi has returned with more smells. <laughs> My goodness, a, a very uh, pleasing coloration of this one. <laughs> well, let's start on the right again, for reasons of uh, well, no reason whatsoever really. Death Star destroyed. Yeah, it was returned the Jedi. That's technically Death Star two destroyed, isn't it? Um, interesting, sort of slightly metallic grey colour. Oh, doesn't smell of a whole lot. Yeah, I'm not convinced by that one. It's just, just low-level sort of perfume. Maybe something a little bit metally to it, but not a lot. I was expecting fireworks or something, or something you know, gunpowder or so that just that kind of um, carbony sort of something has just blown up smell. Oh well, fair enough. Ewok, bloody hell! <clears throat> what did the Ewok smell like? Scholars have asked for generations. Now we will finally know. Oh God. Grandma's soap, apparently. Yeah, it just smells of floral soap. Perhaps they're very clean creatures, Ewoks. <laughs> always, always washing themselves between trying to uh, worship gold robots and eat Han Solo. Jabba's pa oh, this is going to stink like a bastard, isn't it? Jabba's stinky old palace. Um, I imagine that smells of like incense and sweat or something. Yeah. Ooh. No, it's it's very floral. I've smelled this before somewhere, and I can like this exact smell, and I cannot put my finger on it. Yeah, it's a bit soapy, bit air freshenery, slightly soapy air freshener. Hmm. I can't say none of these, none of this set have worked for me so far. That isn't really anything. That's just you know some soap. And that sort of soapy air freshener. It's not, not, not exactly what you would expect Jabba's Palace to smell like. Did they get somebody else in to do these ones or something? Uh, Sarlacc Pit. Oh, God. A giant festering moor in the middle of a bloody desert. Go on, then. Oh. It smells of soap again. What? Yeah, this is just kind of a slightly different and less potent form of soap than Ewok one. Hang on, what's going on here? None of these seem to actually smell of, um, you know, anything interesting out there. That's how bizarre. Well, let's finish up with the Rancor, the big old monster that uh, wants to eat everything because that's what it does. And Luke kills it by dropping a pork cullis on its noggin. Um, ooh. Oh, yeah, that's not so good. Ooh, a sort of weird, leathery smell. Yeah, sort of leathery and slightly sort of dank. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Do you know what? So there's that. The, the, I mean, there's always that slight hint of perfume with the scented candle, but oh, yeah, that's that's quite. Ooh, yeah, I can imagine that being sort of leathery and sweaty. Okay, they pulled it back to the last one there, but um, overall, 
yeah these are not uh anywhere near as good as the other two sets for some reason well there you go so if somebody in your life needs some star wars candles at last you can fulfill their needs <laughs> I don't know. I never knew. Um, yeah, I think they're like 20 quid for a set, or a bit more if you want the nice plastic tray to put them on. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this one, because they're, frankly, only one of them is of interest um, from a novelty point of view. But, uh, yeah, any of the others will uh, stink your nose up, <laughs> as you would expect. <laughs> I'll stick a link below <laughs> if you want to buy my I've got a bloody clip. <laughs> What a concept, Star Wars Universe Scented Candles. Right, let's do one thing before we finish. I'm going to grab... Uh, do, 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 do. do you know what? I'm going to go back to the trash compactor one. All right. I am going to uh, pop it on here and light it. And I'm going to come back in... Ooh. Oh, come on. No! No, you can't run out of gas now. I've got more blind bags to go. Bloody hell, it's run out of gas. I'm going to have to go and get a, a match or some other Stone Age technology. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is light this and then leave it 20 minutes and see what the room smells like. Well, I gave it 25 minutes, although I kept coming in to check on the candle because you should never leave a naked flame unattended. Fire risk in it. Um, but yeah, it's, this is a very small room. Um, and a very manky sofa, but it has managed to, uh, yeah, fill it with a smell, but it's kind of just a s smell of sort of quite low-level perfume. It doesn't smell at all of the uh, horrible, horrible, rancid uh, bin smell you get if you actually sniff it. I'm going to put my head above it. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, if, if, you, if you go above it, you can smell it a bit, but... Um, yeah, it's not as potent as it was um, before I lit it and shoved it up my nostrils. Do you know what? I never thought I'd be disappointed that a room didn't smell of hot garbage. Well, there we are. What a day this has been. <laughs> Star Wars candles, everyone. Buy them. Th th then contemplate the void. Uh, I can't wait until the prequel trilogy candles come out. It's just going to be one big brown candle that stinks of shit. I'm for more.